the ultimate guide to repairing your credit quickly. Are you struggling with bad credit? Have you been having trouble repairing or building your credit score? This is where you'll find what you're looking for. We'll explore some of the best ways to repair your credit fast in this article. There are steps you can take today to improve your credit score, regardless of whether you've missed payments or have too much debt. It can be extremely burdensome to have bad credit. From getting approved for a loan to renting an apartment, it affects everything. Despite your bad credit, you don't have to let it dictate your life. Fixing your credit fast and getting back on track is possible with several simple solutions. When you have the right guidance and effort, you can accomplish anything with your finances. You will learn how to start repairing your credit and tips on how to boost it quickly in this article. The topics we will cover include understanding your credit report, creating a budget, and using secured loans responsibly. Keep reading if you're ready to take charge of your financial future. Understanding how to fix credit fast. An excellent credit score is required for many aspects of life, including taking out a loan or renting an apartment. It is crucial that you understand how credit works in order to rebuild your credit. The best place to start is by getting to know your credit report. The information in your credit report reflects your financial history, including any loans you have taken out, any payments you've missed, or any accounts you have closed. All of this information is collected by the three major credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. All three credit reports are slightly different depending on the bureau, so keep that in mind when reviewing your credit report. Review your credit report and look for anything incorrect or outdated that may be dragging down your score. If you find anything, dispute it with the credit bureau. For instance, you may need to provide bank statements or other forms of proof if you want to dispute something on your report. Should there be an error on the part of the creditor, you can also contact them directly. The key to improving, or even maintaining, your credit score is to understand what's in your credit report and take steps to correct any errors or outdated information as soon as possible. Identifying negative entries. You need to identify any negative entries in your credit report now that you understand how they are created. You can do this by going through your report line by line and noticing anything that stands out. Contact the credit bureaus if there is a mistake or entry that doesn't belong to you. If you have any documents to back up your claim, you should include them as well. A bureau's investigation and response to your dispute must be completed within 30 days. You may need the assistance of a professional in some cases, such as an attorney or financial advisor. In the event of outstanding debt or incorrect information on your credit report, they can offer advice on how to proceed. Your credit score can be negatively impacted by negative entries, which makes it harder for you to get approved for loans or other financial products. The good news is that there are steps you can take to fix the problem and improve your score over time. Improving payment history. Making sure that your bills are paid on time is the most important factor in improving your credit score. If you are late with your payments, you can significantly harm your credit score, so be sure to make them on time or before they are due. Make sure you stick to your budget to stay organized and on top of payments. Keeping track of upcoming due dates and checking your bank account regularly will help you avoid late fees. As an additional option, you might want to consider setting up automatic payments. Your payment due date will never be missed with this method. The creditor should be contacted as soon as possible if you have fallen behind on payments to discuss potential solutions, such as an extended payment period. Avoiding more serious consequences, like late fees or interest charges, can be accomplished by taking proactive measures in these situations. If you make consistent payments according to the terms agreed upon with the creditor, you should see an improvement in your payment history. In order to improve your credit score, you need patience and consistency. Your efforts must pay off over time and show up on your credit report. Take steps today and in the future towards better financial health by being patient and staying committed. Negotiating with creditors. It is the next step of the process to fix one's credit to negotiate with creditors. In order to accomplish this, the creditor and debtor can make a payment plan that works for both of them. Those who can demonstrate that they are serious about paying their debts may be more likely to be able to work with creditors. Make sure a payment plan takes into account the individual's current financial situation and what they can afford when making one. Maintaining politeness and professionalism is crucial when negotiating with creditors. A good rule of thumb is to avoid making threats or making promises you can't keep. When a creditor offers you a payment plan that you find unfeasible, politely decline and offer an alternative. Having all relevant information, such as the amount owed, interest rates, and other details of the debt agreement, ready before beginning any negotiations is also a good idea. To avoid confusion about what was agreed upon, make sure to get everything written down from the creditor if the negotiations are successful. Additionally, make sure that payments are made on time every month and adhere to the terms of the agreement until the debt is completely paid off. 
By doing so, you will demonstrate responsibility and demonstrate to creditors that you are working on improving your credit score. By following these steps, you will have a better chance of getting out of debt and having good credit in the future. Disputing inaccuracies. It is crucial to dispute inaccuracies on your credit report in order to get your credit back on track as soon as possible. When disputing, it is crucial to remain diligent and organized. It is a good idea to obtain a copy of your credit reports in order to check them for any errors. Verify all the information, including personal details and account information, for accuracy. Disputing any discrepancies in writing should be done with the credit reporting agency. You may need to provide evidence to support your dispute, such as account statements or other documents. Throughout this process, it is also essential that you keep detailed notes about your interactions with the credit reporting agency. Record the date and time of each call, as well as what was discussed. As a result, you will be able to track progress and prepare for future disputes if necessary. Additionally, it's best practice to follow up with a letter after each call confirming what was discussed. The credit reporting agency may need to respond to your disputed status until you receive an answer. If they discover inaccuracies on your report, they should update it accordingly so that your score reflects accurate information. In case they do not respond or if they do not resolve the issue, consider contacting an attorney who specializes in consumer protection laws or filing a complaint with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau CFPB. It will increase the chances of you getting approved for loans or credit cards in the future if you take these steps to ensure that your credit report is accurate. Repairing Credit Utilization Ratio Credit utilization ratios are important factors to consider when determining your credit score. It represents the proportion of your available credit that you are using compared with what you have available. It is possible to improve your credit score by increasing your credit utilization. If you want to improve your credit utilization, you need to pay down any existing debt first. This will reduce the amount of available credit that you are using and make it easier for you to manage your finances. Make sure to keep track of all payments and make sure they are paid on time. Late payments can have a significant impact on your credit score. In addition, you can try increasing the limit on an existing credit line or applying for additional lines of credit in order to increase the amount of available credit. By increasing your available credit, you will be able to lower your overall utilization rate and improve your credit score. Do not take on more debt than you can afford to repay in a timely manner. Getting your credit back on track requires patience and commitment, but with dedication and effort, you can improve your credit utilization ratio and boost your credit score. Secured Credit Cards The use of a secured credit card is another option for repairing your credit utilization ratio. Secured credit cards require the consumer to deposit money into a savings account before they can use them. The deposit will be equal to the approved credit limit on the card, and it serves as collateral in case the consumer fails to make payments. In the event that one wants to establish a credit score or rebuild a credit score, such a card may be of use. Using secured credit cards allows you to access credit lines without having an outstanding balance that could cause further financial problems. In addition, it is an important factor when calculating your FICO score because it helps you establish a good payment history with creditors. When using a secured card, it's important to make all payments on time and in full each month in order for the creditor to report positive information about your account activity. In time, you may be able to increase your available credit line or change to an unsecured credit card when you use a secured card responsibly. To avoid being taken advantage of by lenders, make sure any unsecured credit card you select has competitive rates and terms. Maintaining positive marks on your credit report and keeping your debt manageable requires continued monitoring of your spending habits and payment schedule after getting an unsecured credit card. Refinancing Debt Consolidation Getting your credit back on track quickly is possible through debt consolidation refinancing. This type of loan allows you to combine multiple outstanding debts into one single loan with a lower interest rate. By doing this, you can reduce the amount of interest you pay over time and save thousands of dollars. If you are considering refinancing debt consolidation, it's important to consider your options carefully. If you get a new loan, you need to make sure it will still be affordable for you, and that your credit score won't suffer too much. Upon completing this step, you will be able to apply for the loan and begin improving your credit score immediately. You should also remember that improving your credit score after refinancing debt consolidation takes time. It won't happen overnight, but if you keep up with payments and manage your finances responsibly, your credit score should improve within a year or two. You'll be able to fix your credit quickly and get back on track with your finances with patience and dedication. Professional help. It may be time to seek professional help if you've already tried fixing your credit on your own and still seem to be struggling. You can receive personalized advice tailored to your particular financial situation from a qualified credit counselor. You can work with them to develop a budget, establish a payment plan with creditors, and create a debt management plan that fits your needs. Additionally, credit counselors negotiate with creditors on your behalf and advise you on how to use the money you save to build a savings cushion. 
You can also repair your credit by working with an experienced credit repair agency. If needed, these agencies will review your credit report, identify any negative items that may be affecting your score, and work with you to dispute them. A good credit building practice is also offered by them, as well as advice on improving your financial habits. When it comes to repairing your credit quickly and effectively, finding the right assistance can make all the difference. The key to finding the best fit for your individual situation and ensuring that all of your financial needs are met is to research potential options and understand what each offers. Building good financial habits. It is essential to build good financial habits if you want to fix your credit fast. You will be better able to achieve your credit repair goals by developing responsible money management skills. It is important to create a budget and adhere to it if you want to build better financial habits. Make sure you set realistic financial goals so you will be able to keep track of how much you spend and what you save. You can avoid overspending or getting into too much debt by setting up a separate savings account. As well as paying all your bills on time, make sure you pay them in full each month, as late payments can affect your credit score severely. You should also be cautious when it comes to using credit cards. Make sure you don't borrow more than you can afford to pay back, and always pay off the balance in full every month. Additionally, avoid opening too many new accounts at once, since this can negatively affect your credit utilization ratio. With these healthy financial habits, you can take control of your finances and improve your credit score quickly and easily. Frequently asked questions. What are the financial advantages of fixing my credit? Fixing one's credit has a number of financial advantages. It is easier to get approved for loans and other forms of financing when you have good credit. A good credit score can give you access to better loan rates and terms, saving you money in the long run. Additionally, Good credit can also help you qualify for lower insurance premiums since lenders and insurers view people with higher credit scores as less risky customers. As a result of fixing your credit, you will be able to enhance your overall financial profile and increase your likelihood of being able to make financial decisions without fear. When you pay off debt or resolve discrepancies on your credit reports, you improve your financial standing and increase your credibility with potential creditors. In addition to providing you with peace of mind, this will also provide you with a sense of security as your finances are being handled responsibly. The ability to maintain good credit can also lead to increased opportunities for personal development and career advancement. Good credit often results in increased purchasing power and access to more attractive financing options such as mortgages and business loans. As a result, this may increase one's ability to invest in real estate or start a business venture, something that would not be possible without having good credit. All these factors demonstrate why repairing one's credit is so important when it comes to achieving long-term financial stability. What are the best ways to rebuild credit after bankruptcy? Building your credit after bankruptcy is one of the most important steps toward financial independence. Although improving your credit score can be challenging, there are several strategies you can use. This article discusses the best ways to rebuild credit after bankruptcy and how these strategies can help you rebuild your finances. It is critical to make all payments on time when rebuilding credit after bankruptcy. Making sure your monthly payments are on time will help you maintain a good credit score. Maintaining low balances on any open accounts will help you improve your credit score as well. Keeping healthy accounts for a long time is another strategy for rebuilding credit. Providing proof that you are reliable and trustworthy when paying back debt will likely lead to more favorable terms in the future. In addition, some lenders may offer secured lines of credit, which can be used to gradually build a positive payment history while avoiding the higher interest rates associated with unsecured loans. Finally, another way to rebuild your credit is by using budgeting tools such as expense tracking apps or talking with a financial advisor about setting up an emergency fund or savings account for unexpected expenses. These steps will help you stay on top of bills and plan ahead for unexpected costs without having to rely on high interest loans or other forms of debt. With proper planning and discipline, rebuilding your credit after bankruptcy is achievable and can lead to a brighter financial future. Hash 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 how quickly can I expect to see results from repairing my credit? When it comes to repairing one's credit after bankruptcy, the question of how quickly results can be expected is a common one. It's important to understand that rebuilding credit after bankruptcy is not an overnight process, it requires patience and dedication. The time it takes to repair your credit depends on a variety of factors, such as the type of loan or credit you have, the amount of debt you owe, and your overall payment history. The first step in improving your credit score is to start making regular payments on all outstanding bills and debts. Doing so will ensure that you are meeting all of your financial commitments on time. Additionally, by reducing high balances on revolving accounts like credit cards and lines of credit, you can actively reduce the amount of debt that affects your score. While this won't immediately increase your score, it will help improve it over time. Another key factor in improving your credit score is understanding how different types of loans work, such as mortgages or car loans. For example, 
mortgages often require longer periods of repayment because they are secured against a large asset, such as a house or property. Understanding how each type of loan works and its impact on your overall score can help you plan for success when trying to rebuild your credit rating. By following these steps, you can begin to see results from repairing your credit within a few months depending on the severity and size of the debt you have accrued since filing for bankruptcy. With dedication and research into the best strategies for rebuilding credit after bankruptcy, good financial health can be achieved over time. What is the best way to improve my credit score without taking on additional debt? In order to improve your credit scores without taking on additional debt, you may have to take on more debt. The good news is that there are some steps you can take to help improve and maintain it without having to borrow more money. The first thing you should do is check your credit report for errors. Reviewing your report regularly is important, since errors can occur often, such as an incorrect address or an account that does not belong to you. Do not hesitate to dispute any errors with the credit bureau if you find them. After paying off your existing debt, especially if it has been delinquent for some time, you should pay off any remaining debt. Regardless of the amount of the debt, paying it off will have a significant impact on your credit score. You should also pay your bills in full each month whenever possible, and make payments on time whenever possible. By doing this, you'll demonstrate to creditors that you're responsible and skilled at managing your finances. Lastly, you may want to consider setting up automatic payments to avoid missing payment due dates or incurring late fees. You can also use it to ensure that enough funds are available in your account when the payment is due every month so that the payment goes through successfully. If you follow these tips, you will be able to improve and maintain your credit score without taking on additional debt and without sacrificing too much of your own time or money. Can I fix my credit myself or do I need to hire a professional? There is a common misconception that you can repair your credit yourself or that you need to hire a professional. There are advantages and disadvantages to both methods of credit repair, and it will depend on the individual's needs which one to choose. On the one hand, fixing your own credit has the advantage of being free and not requiring any outside help. You can take steps such as disputing inaccurate information on your credit report, paying off outstanding debts and making sure you pay bills on time. With these steps, it's possible to improve your credit score without taking on additional debt or spending money. The downside of doing it yourself is that it takes a lot of time and effort. To effectively improve your score, you must research which steps you need to take, as well as stay current with any changes in laws or regulations that could affect how you manage your credit. In addition, if you're dealing with serious issues like identity theft or fraud, then hiring a professional who has experience might be the best course of action. While hiring an experienced specialist may be more expensive than doing it yourself, you could end up saving time in the long run. Various financial challenges can be handled best by professionals since they know what steps are needed to improve your score. Furthermore, they have access to resources that can speed up the process of repairing your credit, so you won't waste time trying different tactics that may not work. Final Thoughts Getting your credit back on track can be a challenging task, but with the right approach, you can make progress quickly. Knowing the best ways to rebuild your credit after bankruptcy and understanding the financial benefits of doing so can help you get started. It's also important to know how long it will take to see results so that you won't become discouraged. Other options exist if you do not want to take on additional debt in order to improve your credit score. Depending on your needs, you can do this yourself or hire a professional. You'll eventually see positive changes in your credit score if you stay dedicated and stick with it. So don't give up, fix your credit and take control of your finances.